not to a, now to a much publicized case here in the United States, over the right to die, 29-year-old Brittany Maynard has chosen an assisted suicide law to end her life. She died over the weekend in the state of Oregon, which has a death for dignity law. As Chris Casseo reports, her decision has revived discussions about assisted suicide. Brittany Maynard died over the weekend after taking a lethal dose of physician-prescribed medication. When she learned cancer would end her life, she wanted to decide when. So if November 2nd comes along and I've passed, I hope my family is still proud of me and the choices I made. She was married a little more than a year when she discovered she had brain cancer. In April, doctors told her she had only six months to live. Not wanting her family to see her suffer, Maynard and her husband moved from California to Oregon to take advantage of the state's so-called death with dignity law. Oregon is one of five states that permits a terminally ill person to choose when to die and by what means. I can't even tell you the amount of relief that it provides me to know that I don't have to die the way that it's been described to me that my brain tumor would take me on its own. Maynard previously said she planned to take the medication she'd been prescribed on November 1st because she wanted to celebrate her husband's birthday on October 30th. In her final days, Brittany traveled with her family, most recently to the Grand Canyon. Before she died, she shared this wish. I would like to see all Americans have access to the same health care rights. But beyond that public policy goal, my goals really are quite simple, and they mostly do boil down to my, my family and friends and making sure they all know how important they are to me and how much I love them. A U.S. federal law allowing others to end their lives like Brittany Maynard did is unlikely. Around half of U.S. states have defeated bills to legalize physician-assisted suicide or have banned it outright. Chris Cascajo, CCTV, Seattle.